Okay, welcome to Bobby's Kitchen. Tonight we're going to make sheet pan shrimp bake. It's real easy to do, and basically you have like two pans to clean up. Well, three if you want to count your butter. <laughs> so basically we need shrimp. We also need potatoes, and I got the uh, little red ones. We also need a quarter cup of butter, and this will be melted. We need minced garlic. Old Bay seasoning and corn on the cob, which is three ears of corn, and then you chop it into three pieces each. And andouille sausage. Uh, I didn't have andouille, but I do have Polish sausage, so that's what's going to have to work. <laughs> so let's get started. So the first thing I wanted to do is preheat my oven to 400 degrees. My oven is 25 degrees hot, so 375 for mine. Then I want to boil a pan of salted water, and I want to put my potatoes in there. And I will give all the ingredients and the amounts in the description. So I'm, I'm going to cut these potatoes in half. They're not real big, but... And I'll cook these for 10 to 13 minutes. And when I have about 5 minutes left, then I'm going to go ahead and put those ears of corn in, too, because I want to par cook those just a little bit. So we put our potatoes in here. And this is kind of a different take on the shrimp boil. And if you've watched any of my uh, camping videos, you know that we've done the shrimp boils while we were camping. And these shrimp are deveined, and I also took the shells off of here, so they are shellless little shrimps. So I'm also going to go ahead and get my butter melting. So I just want to turn that on low over here because I don't want to scorch the butter. So after those cook for about 10 minutes or so and stuff, then I'm going to go ahead and throw that corn in and then we'll be back. Okay, our potatoes have been boiling for about 12, 15 minutes and I can stick a fork in them so I know that they're ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and throw the corn in there now and I want to cook it for about 5 minutes. And we do have our butter is melted in our pan here. So I'm going to go ahead and add, what would be roughly four tablespoons of minced garlic. A tablespoon of the Old Bay seasoning. No, I really don't measure anything anymore. After you've been doing this for a while and stuff, you pretty much can guess. So, and just stir that all up. And whenever we get ready to put our shrimp and our sausage and our potatoes and everything on the pan, then this will go over the top of it and I'll just kind of toss it. So, as soon as our corn is done here and stuff for like five minutes, then we'll be back. Okay, our corn and potatoes have been cooking long enough, so I'm going to go ahead and strain those out. And I got this little strainer thing, and it works really, really well. You can get big scoops of stuff with this. Oops, one thing I almost forgot. I'm going to spray this pan. Make sure you spray your pan. If you don't have spray, you could just oil it. And then drain this.
So now we got our potatoes on there. scoot all this stuff around so it gets a little bit of this butter and garlic on everything. Now I'm just turning these over so I can get some butter on the ends of them. Just kind of try to spread everything out as best you can. Get it in a single layer. Just try to make sure your shrimp aren't all piled on top of each other. I would say that's the main thing. So, all right, so we're going to stick it into the oven. It's going to go in there for uh, 10 to 12 minutes, 15 or whatever. As soon as your shrimp turn uh, kind of like a pink opaque color, then you know it's done. So, let's get this in the oven. I can't really wait to try this. And let's turn on the light so we can see what's going on. And we'll be back when our 12 to 15 minutes or whatever is up and I'll show you what we got. Okay, there's our pan come out of the oven. So let's garnish this with a little chopped parsley. lemon wedges in there. Alright, there we go. And there is our sheet pan shrimp bake. So, Hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, I will put a link to the recipe down below so you know the amounts and the ingredients and everything. So, thanks for watching. Welcome to Bobby's Kitchen. Tonight we are going to make sheet pan shrimp bake. Uh, it's pretty easy to do. You need, and I will list the ingredients. Cut. Welcome to Bobby's Kitchen. Tonight we're going to make sheet pan shrimp bake. Uh, we need a pound of shrimp, 